Ladies and gentlemen, the whole world. Hydrotech Farms here in Zambia, as you of those followers that are with us would already know that we are an educational program in Zambia. And a lot of requests has been sent to me to talk about business, to talk about unemployment worldwide. And I decided on this first video touching the subject that's going to reach over a stage of three videos, of which this is the first one. I decided to touch the unemployment situation worldwide first. Now there's a lot of people that's going to feel very personally touched through what I have to say. But if you go and you sit very quietly and you think about it, you're going to realize that what I'm saying is an actual fact. You know, we have this, uh, the fortunate people in the world and you have the poor people in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, not all can be bosses. I understand that. But if you've had the opportunity to have education, tertiary education, going to a university or to a college, get a diploma or get a degree. You have no reason to be a parasite on a job wherein you surrounded yourself in a comfort zone to be an employee for the rest of your life. And denying the younger ones that is following you the opportunity where you sit today. And why I'm saying this is I'm coming back to the situation of unemployment. What is the biggest uh, 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 form of contribution to unemployment? Why do we find uh, uh, graduates working in restaurants as waiters or even as cleaners or sitting at home having no jobs? The big reason for that is because there is people in our world that thinks about themselves and only about themselves. They leave the college or the university and they get employed and they stay an employee for the rest of their lives because that's a safe zone, a nice comfort zone wherein they can operate. They never have to take in their lives the risks that a normal businessman have to take or the responsibilities that a normal businessman must take. Ladies and gentlemen, you people that was fortunate to be educated. You have no reason to work for longer than one year as an employee. You've been, you've been privileged to become a leader in the world. You've been privileged to have that diploma and that degree. It's not that you're more clever than the other people on the street. It's because you're more fortunate. You had support systems to achieve that. Or you found a nice job that could give you that education from the salary that you were earning. Or you were, in, you were one of those lucky ones that inherited your wealth. Stop it. You have all the power and the ability to start a business and become an employer instead of an employee. Can you imagine a world where we have all these privileged, educated people going out there, working for one year, saving 10% of their salary in their first year and starting a small business. Everything that's big today in the business world was small in the beginning. And you start employing people, the less privileged people, the people that needs you to be an employer. Because you have what it takes, the knowledge, the education. But instead you sit in a job, occupying it for the rest of your life, denying other people the opportunity to also sit there where you are sitting. That's not fair. That's selfish. Stand up. Take the responsibility. Take accountability. And, 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 and start taking risks in life. Take on the challenges of life. Don't always hide from it. And start a small business after you save 10% of your one first year salary. Doesn't matter how small you start with it. You can employ people right from the start. 
You can even end up employing thousands of people. Please, get out of the seat you are sitting there, occupying for years, denying other people that opportunity. Then I'm coming back to the workers, the workers class, the employees, those who are completely illiterate, and even those who are a little bit literate, or those who are unfortunate, they are very literate, but they don't get the opportunity. Because there's other people there that's very shelfy sitting in those chairs. Like trees planted in one place for the rest of their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, you as a worker, or as so far an employee, why don't you also take just 10% of your first year's salary, save it, and at the end of the 10th month, start a small business that can maybe employ yourself and one worker. You might even grow and become something much bigger than what you can imagine for yourself right now. It's not about how much you earn. It is what you do with the money. Be money wise. I have started the business with 480 kwacha, Zambian kwacha. Which is in today's language about 200, no, 24 US dollars. And within 10 months, I had 600,000 US dollar turnover. I'm employing over 103 people. And I am not remarkably educated. But I'm experienced. I'm money wise. I say again, it's not what you do. With the, it's not the money that counts. It's what you do with it. So I'm counting on the people. Why would you always in the rest of your life as a worker or as an employee have to be a financial slave for somebody else who determines when you go on leave, when you can leave? When your wife can get off to go with you. Who owns you? Who owns your wife? Who owns your, who owns your children? Who owns your time? <clears throat> You're never free. No matter how freedom or how much freedom your country offers you or how much democracy you got. For as long as you are an employee, you will never own your own life. It will always be determined by somebody who you work for. So do that little bit of a sacrifice in your life for yourself and your beloved ones. And sacrifice a little bit. And save 10% of your salary. And don't try to tell me you cannot start a business that is sustainable and continuous. With 10% of your salary. Even if you are earning 70 or 50 US dollar a month like the people in African states does. That are farm workers and waitresses. And car guards. Working in hair saloons. Working in banks. It's going all better and better. You don't need thousands. To start a healthy. Business. That will make you independent. And give you more money. Than what you are currently earning. Where you are sitting today in a job. As an employee. A financial slave. For somebody else. Ladies and gentlemen. Our second video will cover. A plan. That you can follow. To become that independent person. With 10% of your salary. Even if today you are earning 70 US dollar a month. And within 10 months. You will be employing yourself. With at least 3 times the salary you earn now. And. You will be employing at least one worker. And from there, if you stick to your discipline and you keep yourself focused on growth of your business, you will within two years employ more than 50 people. Paying them double what you are earning today if you are one of those people that are earning 70 US dollar a month. So I, I call upon the world, those who are sitting on those chairs selfishly, start taking steps and from, become employers instead of being comfortable employees in your comfort security zone.
Step out of it. Give other people an opportunity. Give them a chance in life. Stop just thinking about yourself. And those who are employees and workers today and in the lower levels of our societies, start saving 10% of your salary for 10 months. I promise you and I guarantee you, you will be financially independent in 10 months time. Before I ring off from this, please don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel. The second video will, will cover all opportunities or some opportunities that you can follow and you can get the full operational and business plans from Hydrotech Farm Zambia here. I see you in the next video.